Kayak Fishing Tales is brought to you by Ocean Kayak, makers of the Trident series of fishing kayaks and the new Torque, featuring a Minn Kota motor. If there's any one condition that makes kayak fishing more challenging, it's wind. But there are some good techniques for countering wind, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. If the forecast is calling for strong winds, you're probably best off leaving your kayak on your car because you're going to spend 90% of your time fighting the wind and only 10% of the time fishing, if you're lucky. But on days of lighter winds, the wind will be more of a nuisance that you'll have to deal with. And here are some of the most popular ways of doing that. A tool that I always keep on my kayak when going deep water kayak fishing is a drift chute or sea anchor. Like waterborne parachutes, they catch water and really slow down your drift, which lets you fish structure more thoroughly. I personally like to drift sideways to the wind, so I simply clip my drift chute to the side of my kayak with about a six foot piece of rope. Now some guys like to have the drift chute off the front or the back of their boat, so they'll use an anchor trolley which they can run up and down the side of the kayak. When fishing shallow water, stakeout poles and anchors are most popular. A stakeout pole is simply a pole with a sharp point that gets stuck into the bottom through an anchor trolley ring or even through a scupper hole. Stakeout poles are great when you want to hold position in very shallow water, but anything deeper than a couple of feet and you'll want to use an anchor. Folding anchors are also very popular with kayak anglers because they work on a variety of bottom conditions. You can simply clip the anchor to the side of your kayak or you can use an anchor trolley. Either way, if you like to land your fish on a particular side of your boat, you'll just want to set up your anchor or anchor trolley on the opposite side. Although drift chutes, anchors, and stakeout poles are the three most common methods you'll see for wind, sometimes you'll need to get a little bit more creative. On a recent trip to El Salto in Mexico, wind was a huge issue, and our fix was to tie a length of rope to the back of our kayaks and then tie it to one of the trees that was stuck up from the water. It worked, and we caught a ton of largemouth bass that day despite the heavy winds. A relatively new entrant into the world of kayak fishing is one of the best items for beating the wind, and that's a trolling motor. Earlier this year, we were fishing in the coastal marshes of Georgia, and not only did we have to deal with very strong winds, we had some ripping current to deal with. I was using the new Ocean Kayak Torque, which has an integrated Minn Kota trolling motor, and I couldn't believe how much it helped. I could hold my position and keep on fishing. I also saved a ton of time because I didn't have to worry about deploying or retrieving anchors. It might not be pure kayak fishing, but the torque really let me make the most out of the windy conditions. Well, I hope that helps you out next time you want to go kayak fishing in the wind. Until next time, I'm Jim Sammons, and that's your kayak fishing tip of the week. For more tips and your chance to win a fantastic kayak fishing package that includes an Ocean Kayak Trident Fishing Kayak and Ex Officio Clothing, visit kayakfishingshow.com.